every good girl needs a little love. Every black boy needs a little love. If you put it down, I'ma pick it up, up, up. Can't you see? It's just me and you. Panoramic view, that's my point of view. Babe. All about me, that's the energy. <laughs> What it is y'all oh what's up my name is ebony if you are new here so in today's video i'm pretty much going to be labeling all of my jars like all my candles and whatnot oh i forgot to tell you guys this i finally went ahead and hired an accountant when i tell you guys it makes my life so much easier like i don't know if y'all remember me telling you this like in videos like um in past videos where i told you guys i'm hiring a an assistant <laughs> um I have somebody already that does you know my emails for me um like it's just I don't know I just be trying to make my life a lot easier I have a lot of things going on besides really like worried about the tedious parts of my business so I kind of hire people to maintain those aspects of business for me and it has literally made my life so much easier like I can't even front I'm sorry I can't even front it makes my life 10 times better Ugh, I love it um so I hired an accountant and I am beyond excited I know these like services and stuff cost money if you guys are able to afford an accountant definitely do it okay because when it comes like this time around like tax time you know <sighs> honey makes your life a whole lot easier it definitely i hired her back in uh december i think it was december or november of last year and she just did uh she, no just not just did we actually then got our taxes back but she did our taxes and whatnot jeremy was so happy because normally jeremy does our taxes but because luxurious ambiance is like literally a full throttle legal business <laughs> we decided we needed like i needed to hire an accountant so um yeah but y'all game changer for real it's a game changer i don't really have too much going on today like i said i need to label candles I do need to make some more candles don't know if i'll do that in today's video don't quote me I'll, i probably will if i'm like in the zone and in the you know yeah i'll make candles so i'm gonna stop all of my rambling and let's just get into today's video all right guys so before we get way into today's video i want to say thank you to off nova for partner with me on this portion of today's video they sent me over their 10 liter wax warmer so when i tell you guys it was really really light it's it was lighter than what i expected to be when i pulled it out the box i was expecting it to be kind of heavy but i was like oh dang this is really really light and it's pretty small but tall like you know compact so i felt like it'd be really really nice for somebody who has like limited spacing in their candle studio so i decided to put my tw30 wax inside this wax warmer and if you're familiar or if you have ever worked with tw30 wax it really doesn't take it that long to warm up i like to get the temperature of this wax to at least 160 so it was nice that this has a range of 
you know 212 if you're in the market for a new wax warmer definitely go check out off nova i will have everything linked down below in my description box and thank you to off nova for partnering with me on this portion of today's video all right y'all so i was trying to print off all these labels on my cricut but i absolutely do not like how they printed from the cricut like from my computer to the cricket i don't know the the quality isn't as crisp as i want it to be so i might have to play around with it but for the meantime the mean in between time <laughs> i do need to label some of these candles uh specifically the ones that are you know um going to brooks so she can take the pictures so until i kind of figure out how i can print them off with better quality from my computer to the Cricut because I you guys know I make my own labels although I love cutting the labels you know I've you know had a lot of fun doing that I just be trying to you know make things a little bit easier for me and a little bit more efficient so I was gonna do it on my Cricut and just have you know the Cricut cut it for me but I need to figure out the quality honey it's not the quality ain't matching up and it's really making me mad so yeah i just need to figure that out but i'm gonna go ahead and print off some labels from 
the city It's been so long since we've been gone I'ma feel, but I don't wanna go if you ain't with me. Let's make a home, be all alone. So tell me, baby, where would you like to go? Maybe we'll drive from coast to coast, only to where we love the most. I'm taking you to paradise, paradise. the prize yeah, yeah paradise paradise i'm taking you let's see the sun and have some fun i'm so tired of living life in gray babe and you deserve to see the world so tell me baby where would you like to go maybe we'll drive from coast to coast only to where we are Okay, just as a disclaimer, because I know somebody is probably going to ask me in the video, but yeah, when I do my smaller jars, I always use these wick clips and I just place them in like that. Do your own testing, okay? I mean, I haven't had any issues, any problems with, you know, my two ounce candles and um, yeah, they burn very well they don't move they won't slide these types of wick clips they only burn they stop burning once they get to once they get right here you see how the wick is all the way down there but they will stop burning to this point once the wick gets to this part of the wick clip okay these wick clips these wooden wick clips right here are what I use in my bigger candles because I want you to get the complete life of this of the candle and it will burn literally all the way down to that part. So yeah, this is the reason why I always put the stickers on these ones because I don't want them to move. But with these ones, they will not move, I promise you. But again, always do your own testing when it comes to your candles and your formula because based on my formula that I have I haven't had any problems with this but again disclaimer always do your own testings I know it's subjective to so many candle makers you know some people make candles this way other people make candles this way always 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 do your own testing okay what works for me might not necessarily work for you that's just my disclaimer. So yeah, always test your candles. Paradise. 
all right you guys this is pretty much the end of today's video and i really do hope that you guys enjoyed it thank you so so much for spending some of your time with you good sis i appreciate you guys so so much for being here don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new because i would love to have you and blessings to you all and i will talk to you guys in my next video